What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Uh, today, I'm going down to West Virginia, uh, to the property on West Virginia I hunt. Taking the four-wheeler, got it loaded up, uh, taking some batteries and an SD card. We're gonna check the camera down there, gonna grab the card, come home, check it. Uh, I'll show you whatever pictures we come. Hopefully the camera took pictures. If it didn't, I'm gonna be pissed. But uh, yeah, ho hopefully we got some pictures of uh, some bucks, you know, starting to grow and uh, probably won't be nothing too crazy impressive, but uh, just see what's been going through there. Uh, last time I put minerals down there, I'm not gonna go get minerals and put more down. Uh, I should, but I don't know. If, I, if, I'm, if there's like a rural king on the way there, I might, I don't know. But uh, so there's three reasons I'm going down. Uh, one is to switch out the SD card on the camera. Two is to grab my tree stand because uh, I need a fourth stand for my bear hunt. That way we can set up two locations and that's uh, next Friday, the May 31st to the 24th. My dad and I are leaving to go to Quebec for a bear hunt. So I'd like to have four stands so we can set up in two spots. Uh, and then it's been like two months, you know, and it's been spring and the uh, road, the path we made last time, it's probably grown up quite a bit. So I just want to go ride on it a bunch and beat it down. And yeah, that's it. So let's get this two hour trek over with. After a long, 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 long two hour drive, we, we finally made it. So we're down here. I'm going to get the four wheeler unloaded and, uh, we are bad hair day. Uh, but, uh, we're going to get the four wheeler out and we're going to go try and be down this trail or see what it looks like and, uh, see what we can do here. So I just want to take a second and show you guys why I love these Kawasaki Bayou 250s um, and why it's like, I said before that these are like the perfect four wheelers for this kind of stuff like traveling and hunting and uh, just taking anywhere. I'm going to show you how I load it and unload it. It's pretty simple. I got batteries in my car, so uh, I'm just gonna videotape driving down the path and that way you guys get to see it uh, the second I'm seeing it for the first time. So let's go.
camera and it looks like there's a lot of tracks in that so let me shut this off so i can talk but oh and i got spiders all over me that's absolutely effing disgusting god there's nothing i hate more than spiders in this entire world all right so uh a couple observations one you can hardly tell it's a path that has grown up uh it's grown over pretty severely but 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 um that's okay we'll run over it a few times really try and break it back down uh break it in a little bit and but let's check out this mineral site uh i should have brought minerals because they've been hitting this hard and they're actually digging into the ground a good bit so i mean look at this there is uh i mean there's a definite one you can see right there but it's just they've just been all over this dang so assuming also hoping that uh, this camera took pictures and didn't do some stupid shit and did not take pictures um i'm really excited to see what we got on there so uh pull that card switch the batteries all that stuff and then we're gonna ride on this path and try and beat it down then we'll take my stand down All right, so batteries changed, card changed. I've got a I've got a feeling that we're going to end up putting this in and have absolutely nothing on it. I don't know why, but these wildlife innovation cameras, I've never had the greatest luck with them. Sometimes they take pictures, sometimes they don't. Uh, we'll we'll see. We'll see. All right, it's probably been like ten times I've uh, rode on the path. I mean, it's no. It, it's not like bare dirt, you know, but uh, it's a little bit better than it was. You can kind of tell it's a trail now. So we'll go back up and I'll just show you the path on the way up. Obviously, it's like no major difference, but it is a little bit better. Uh, but now I'm going to grab my harness and go take my stand down so I can take it to Canada with me. Uh, this is kind of wild. If anybody knows what these holes are from in this tree, let me know. Leave a comment. I've never seen anything like this in my life that I'm aware of. But it's like... It's pretty freaking cool. I mean, I, I don't know what makes that, but that's the only tree around here like that. It's, it's pretty wicked though. So here's my stand. This is the stand I killed my eight point out of last year down here. Um, and I'm gonna take it down cause I'm gonna move it anyways when the season starts. So right before, so let's get it down.
got the ladder sections and the stand on the four-wheeler and uh, go put them in the truck and load the four-wheeler up and get out of here go check this card all right so now for the second part of this I'm going to show you how I load this in the truck um, but I have a friend he's still my best friend to this day we used to ride this all the time when we were kids and I, I can't tell you how many times we flipped this thing and that I've never had an issue with this four-wheeler and we've run it hard flipped it ramped it uh, and my friend's 140 pounds and he can lift this thing by himself I mean he could do this by himself it that's why these four-wheelers are so great they're so light but step one I take this little piece of two by six and put it behind the back tire and then I put the emergency brake on that way it doesn't roll backwards get up under it right here and pick it straight up like so and then I'll roll it forwards just like that up a little bit and then now it's legit just a simple deadlift uh, I mean, don't get me wrong, it's a four-wheeler, you know, it's heavy. I mean, it's not the, it's not like it's the easiest thing in the world to do, but, uh, like, every once in a while I might struggle just a little bit, but for the most part, it is pretty easy and it's stupid quick. So, I don't know. I just can't say enough good things about these Kawasaki Bayous. I just can't. Got the ladders and the stands and the four-wheeler all in there. And I'm ready for my two-hour trek back home. And to review this card, I'm hoping there's something on it. But uh, pretty successful late May trip, if I do say so myself, fellas. But uh, got to grab the good camera and go back home. Well, I'll see you back at the house. So, go figure, uh, I had a feeling, but the card's not reading for some reason. Uh, yeah, that's irritating. It's been down there for like two and a half months. Uh, that just drives me nuts. Uh, but I guess that's all I got for this video. Sorry for being a disappointment at the end. Blue balled you a little bit, but uh, I appreciate you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, all that stuff. Uh, we'll see you next time.